Let's try this the third time. Third time's a charm. What's good, gang? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. So, yes, I'm still... Maybe not. What's good, gang? Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Yes, I still sound like Batman. And what about it? <laughs> Today's going to be a little different. I'm going to try and set you guys up as nicely as possible. Um, since I am moving, I'm kind of sad now that I had to think about it. Like, my baby's going to be getting put up in the storage unit. And I haven't really used it not too much lately. Um, I've had it for some months now. Probably longer than six months um and i'm a little rusty but i was watching a few poll videos like for beginners and things like that i'm out of breath and i'm like ready to get started because my heart is like racing right now i'm gonna be trying the beginner tricks and then eventually i hope to have a few routines done um it's different because this is like therapeutic for me and i haven't done it on my channel yet and i know pole gets overly sexualized when really it can be sensual, it can be um, therapeutic, like I said, it could be fun. It doesn't have to be sexualized. A lot of people be like, you got a stripper pole. I don't strip on it. I just be spinning, literally losing myself in space and time. And I'd be like enjoying myself. There's music that you can enjoy with it, quietness if you want to. But yeah, we're going to get into that. There's one specific person that I liked. Don't mind my trash bag right there. But there's one person that I did like. She um she did a couple cute like little beginner tricks. So I'm gonna follow her lead and show you guys like how good and not good I am. Um I need to point my toes, I know that. So I'm probably gonna be like tucking my lips in, trying to like focus really bad. My my focus face is crazy, let me tell you. But I'm just gonna pull her up real quick and show you guys what I know. I don't know too much actually. <laughs> Um, I might be a little cut off during this. I'm going to drop the link to her video in the description in case anybody wants to watch it or whatever and give her creds. But she starts off with the uh, fairy spin. This is like one of my favorites because it's cute. Um, but yeah, and it's fun. It's simple. So we're going to do that one real quick. Okay, so I just watched how she did it real quick so I could like be um, technical about it. I always stand on my tippy toe so I can get like height but everything in my room is like I'd be oh what's behind it I'd be kicking everything so I need to make sure that I got long legs girl your inside arm is extended outside outside arm is chest chest length or whatever um and then you swing this leg out and bring the other one back I probably need to work on my um my posture and my shoulders and things like that oh kind of got dizzy but that one's fun I'm trying to get in the movement of like everything coming together like smoothly and like I said I need to point my toes I have really good core strength and my arms are super duper strong Whew, I'm out of breath my arms are super strong because I carry the kids all the time. Um, I have really good core strength, especially because a few muscles did rip. So I don't, I don't know what I'd be doing. I do do like push-ups and things like that when I'm working out or warming up for this. But yeah, I want to like do smooth transitions. Um, so I'm gonna do it one more time. I also got this pole from Fit to Flaunt. Um, it's like the sport pole. And it has really good grip because I have really, really, that was not good. I have really, really sweaty hands and um, I still be sliding on this one. But yeah, I should probably get like some grip stuff. But that's the fairy spin. Let me try and go slower <laughs> um, because I'm always spinning really fast. I noticed that and I get super dizzy and out of breath. And my faces are probably crazy, but let's see. I, and I learned, <laughs> I learned that if you like pull away from the pole, I think you'll go slower. And then if you pull in closer, you go quicker. So yeah, hands already getting sweaty. Oh yeah, let me try the other arm. I'm always using my left arm to like pull me up. Um, so let's try the other arm. Oh, 
Yeah, I don't know why, but my right, my, like my right side of my body is like slow. Like, you know, it's like, it's, it doesn't catch on or it doesn't like, I don't know, that's weird. Um, Cause I'm actually, <laughs> that was stupid. Um, but yeah, I, I need to work on this side of my body more on the pole. I just caught myself tucking my lips. <laughs> okay, next one for real now. Okay, the next one is the chair spin. I'm pretty familiar with this, but I'm gonna see how she does it technically. So we're starting just like the fairy spin. That inside arm is up nice and high, except this time when you come around, your knees are gonna come up towards your chest and together like you're taking a so the arms and stuff is the same as the fairy spin, but I think she said you have to tuck. Hold on, see. Now this are gonna come up to it. Yeah. So this is basically the same as the fairy spin. My transition is probably not the greatest. Um, I don't really, I don't know. This might not be my favorite favorite i used to like when i tried it i don't know my equilibrium was off or something because i literally used to swing my body and like not be <laughs> i don't know I, I used to not be level with the pole but i'm gonna try the other side i think i'm good with the other side when it comes to this one i i think Whew. i'm out of breath I could probably pull my knees up higher. I don't know. This one just doesn't scream like my favorite. <laughs> um, the pencil spin is pretty self-explanatory. Um, you just put your arms up and you're like, you pull up a little bit and you're like straight like a pencil, um, pointed toes and all. So whew, I'm going to just spin both ways with this one. I don't know why, but I really do like pulling up on my tippy toes because maybe you're supposed to. But because my legs are so long, like they always touch the ground and mess up the spin. But yeah, here, here's the. You guys can't see my toes, but um, they're definitely pointed. I'm like looking at myself in the mirror. Oh, maybe you can see them. Can you? Oh, no, maybe not. Um, and then the other way. It's so fun, you guys. So the next one she does is the pole sit. I feel like I'm super awkward with this one, but I'm gonna do it anyway still. Let me watch her first. I'm out of breath. Oh, shit. So just like our pencil spin, our hands come slightly above our head, and then we're just gonna pull ourselves up to come in the seated position. Now, Ooh. I like to take one hand off the pole. You don't need to do that. Wait, anymore. her legs are not that far but apart. This is a great trick to do where you can kind of just sit there and look pretty and not do oh, too much work. And if you're doing this in a routine or something like that, or performing or working at the club, it doesn't require too much effort. You can kind of just sit up there, take a breath. She looks pretty when she's doing it. Really cute, look really pretty, and then come back and <laughs> go into whichever move you want to go into after that. I probably could do it with no hands, but I'm scared. Whew. Let me see if I can do the other side. Um, so weird. Oh. Okay, maybe I should do it a little. This is exactly how I looked when I first started. Crazy. Um, I'm so confused. Oh. Yeah, not my favorite. Oh. I also get bruises and stuff, but you know, it's all a part of the, the game. And the last spin we're gonna do today is our back hook until you are going backwards oh, and then slightly wait. bending your legs back to hook the pole in your knee. So again, you're just following that outside hand to come all the way around to then pick up your legs to hook the pole in that knee, making this pretty. Okay, so this isn't one that I practiced very often. 
shadow legend this isn't one that i practice very often but it is a cute one um so she put her hand inside of this one's like face level and then you just kick back and there we go cute okay let's try the other side um I'm out of breath. So you gotta kick this. <laughs> oh, I got it, I got it. Um, I'm gonna show you guys what I practiced on. Um, I don't even know what this one is called. It's like walking on air though. I'm not as good as I thought I was just because I can feel myself doing it, but um it's super fun and i learned my own transition maybe it, it's already a transition i'm sure it is but i'll show that too but i have you do your arms like this and then you like my bones is cracking out <laughs> um i'm not as good with the other side let's see oh definitely not good with the other side I need to do like some pole, pole training. What is it called? Conditioning. Um, but the transition is going from this to this. Oh, I used to be a cheerleader um, and we used to do like the little toe touches, but I just thought that was super cute. I was like trying to do a dance to a song and that's what came to mind. Um, but yeah, I don't really have any routines or anything like that in play. I'm out of breath. What else do I know? I don't know, but I just be on here spinning. I be trying to do freestyle stuff. Like there's, I can uh, like pull up one of my legs. They're just not. They're just not clean and they don't even look like spins. So yeah, I be in here freestyling. Sometimes I'll like come in my room and I'll just be like spinning like this. Just for a second. And then I go walk into the bathroom and do something or whatever. But yeah, she doesn't get used often. She's pretty sturdy. I have slipped a few times. It hasn't fell to the point where like I look crazy and it's one of those blooper videos, but I have scared myself a few times. Um, here's one that I learned too. I might kick my bed though. Ooh, oh yeah, I'm gonna kick the bed. Oh yeah, stay tuned. I'm gonna be making something out of this scarf. Not gonna tell you guys what yet, but I hope they come out or I hope it comes out right. Cause this scarf is not stretchy at all Whew, out of mother freaking breath um what else do i know i don't know anything oh i do i know another one hold on um i don't know what this one is called either are they like looking at me weirdos <laughs> i hate when people drive by and they drive slow it almost makes me feel like they're watching mind your business you in my business don't do that um anyway i don't know how my hands are supposed to be positioned um but this is another one that i know oh. i don't know if this is even remotely right but it's fun i've seen someone doing it and i also get calluses on my hands that's a little random thing about being on the pole i have a splinter I don't know. I also like to not wear too much lotion because like I said, my hands get really sweaty. Um, I get really sweaty or I get like, you know, what else do I know? I don't know too much else. I can spin backwards. <laughs> I don't know if this even looks right, but 
I can do this spin. I just be in here having fun, y'all, literally. I'm probably really crazy right now. I don't know how to do any of those. Like, I can't, oh, I can't, like, pull myself up. Oh, the kid's out of school. I'm gonna sit my ass down real quick. <laughs> I need to take a breather anyway, and it's a little boy looking in my room. I, I did eventually want to make, like, little short clips of me doing uh, some little dances and stuff. And posting them on like Instagram or TikTok and I really think it's just for me like I don't look for attention from people I really don't care what people think it's just for me I've always loved polling and the dancing um, I think back in 2016 I was like oh my gosh I want to try the classes me and my mom used to talk about doing it when I uh, got older um, together it just seems so fun to like know so much about it to have the the um combos to get like it just seems so fun to like have everything down techn the technical things down and things like that and again it's therapeutic i've been using it and i haven't recorded nothing like i just i'd be at home in my own world with this thing i also want to start selling some pole uh some pole wear I think that stuff is super cute too. And like I'd be on here with leggings and long sleeves sometimes. Like you do not have to be dressed down. I'm just super hot right now. I even turned the air on and I'm still hot. That was something super quick. I'm going to try and I've been cleaning. I really don't know what to do. Like I'm just, I, I don't know, you guys. I have a lot going on. I'm not going to go into detail about my business. Um... But I have a lot going on, so I'm going to try and figure some other things out right now. Um, and I will try and get as much poll content as I can out of myself and out of this baby uh, before I move. So I can at least post it. I'm going to miss it so bad. That's so sad. Anyway, yeah, I got this from Fit to Fly. Um, It's like the sports poll. It's grippy. Like, it's not like the... Uh, the shiny ones where you have to like use it and wear it down and like rub alcohol on it every five minutes so you're not falling and slipping and stuff like that and it's static and spin so um i never use static i don't know why people like static so much spin is so much easier i get dizzy but not for long girl static be making me look stupid <laughs> That's all I got for you guys right now. Like I said, I don't really know too much else and I haven't really used her as much. Um, I will try and get some combos or dances or whatever down, maybe, if I have time and uh, um, get that out there as well. I hope you guys are enjoying your day. Peace and love to you all. See ya.